So many of you in the comments section have been asking a question. It's a fantastic question, and it seems to find an inconsistency and a contradiction in my teachings. And the question is, Ryan, why on the serve is it good to hug ourselves, but on the forehand, it's bad to hug ourselves? Why the contradiction? It's a great question. It's not a contradiction, and I'm glad to answer it in this video. The first thing we wanna know is that body rotation is vital to both the forehand and the serve. When we're hitting a forehand, we want to rotate the body. When we're hitting a serve, we want to rotate the body. And everything our arms do should encourage that rotation to occur. It should not impede that rotation. It should not keep that rotation from happening. So first, let's talk about the serve. There are three things your non-hitting arm should do on the serve. It should go up to toss, it should reach out towards your opponent and it should pull in against the body and then that's where you end up hugging yourself on the serve. Now let's talk about the rotation in relation to when the tossing arm or when the non-hitting arm is moving. The rotation in the serve occurs while the tossing arm is reaching out toward the opponent. Then once the rotation is done, then you pull the tossing arm in against the body as a reactive break, slows the body's rotation down and accelerates the hitting arm. So one could say that the hugging or the arm coming in against the body occurs after you've already rotated the body. So you rotate initially to coil, you toss, you begin uncoiling, I'm done uncoiling, I'm done with my rotation, so now I pull this in to stop the rotation and then my hitting arm accelerates. On the forehand, there are two things you're tossing, or sorry, <laughs> that your non-hitting arm should be doing. And it is going back with the racket to coil and then it should move across and up. And then at contact, this is what I call wave to the opponent when you strike the ball, your non-hitting hand at contact should be in front of your shoulder and slightly above the shoulder. Look at Azarenka hit a forehand, look at Serena, look at Diego Schwartzman, Djokovic, uh, 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 Grigor Dimitrov. When they strike the ball, it looks like they are waving to the opponent. A perfect example of that is actually Leighton Hewitt. I mean, it literally looks like he's waving to the opponent at the time he's contacting the ball. On the forehand, when players hug themselves, recreational club players, those of you who watch my videos, when players hug themselves, they are hugging themselves during the time you should be rotating. It's not like players are rotating and then hugging themselves. Players on the forehand do this and their non-hitting hand drops. Now the body doesn't know who to listen to. Does it listen to the hitting arm or does it listen to the non-hitting arm? It listens to neither, it negates it. Zero net force, the body just stays sideways. So when I'm asking you to hug yourself on the serve, it's because your body has already done its rotation and now I wanna stop that rotation and accelerate the hitting arm. When I'm asking you not to hug yourself on the forehand, it is because players hug themselves during the time they should be uncoiling. Now there is a reactive break, just a nice little added piece here, I wasn't planning on saying this, but I'll just add it. There is a reactive break, because many of you have asked, is there a reactive break on the forehand? And the reactive break is to stop the, the non-hitting hand at the waving phase or position. And so and Federer is a master at this. Steffi Graf was a master at this. Watch Federer when he goes to hit a forehand. Just before he hits the ball, his non-hitting hand stops right here. And that's what accelerates the hitting arm. When you're rotating and then you stop the rotation, the hitting arm actually accelerates. Now, I actually ask people to catch the racket. And the reason is I want to make sure that your non-hitting hand is here to begin with. Because most players, they're not gonna hit very good forehands if, them hug if they're hugging themselves. So I just wanna make sure that you're getting into this position and then catching is a simple way of making sure that your non-hitting hand was waving. But I hope that helps you understand why on the serve, hug yourself, because the rotation's already occurred. 
but do not hug yourself on the forehand because you will negate that hip turn. Work on hugging on the serve and catching the racket on your forehand and there's no doubt you're going to gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this.